When David Hall checked his email recently, he came across an urgent message from a local bank. The retired firefighter said he knew immediately not to follow the directions, even though it looked authentic. He had the logo on it and everything else made it look legit. However, David doesn't have an account with the bank, at least hasn't for a while. It's been about two or three years since I've dealt with them. Scammers didn't know that. No, they did not. What did the scammer want you to do? The scammer wanted me to call a number and give my information to them. Lots of people will fall for this scam. They will. They will fall for it. Unfortunately, it's the older people that's more trustworthy. And that is where the problem comes in. And they take advantage of the old people who's worked all their life to save a little something, and then somebody comes along, scams them, and takes it away. Con artists are a wily bunch. They try to fool honest people through lies and trickery. Even with all the advanced knowledge that we have with our computers, some of these old-fashioned cons still work. The granddaddy of them all is called the Nigerian scam, which once originated in Nigeria but now comes from all over the world. The message is sent out of the blue. I wonder if you could get into the directory and get a phone number for them. Vernice and Ted Berry have been trying to determine whether an email they received could be the real thing. It came from a guy calling himself Gerald Minnell, a financial manager. He writes that one of Ted's relatives recently died. The information that Vernice reads from the email is the bait to get them hooked. My name is Gerald Manell, a portfolio manager for Edward Berry, your late relative. After countless attempts to locate any of his relatives, I am glad to have found you. The letter says Edward Berry's unclaimed account is valued at $1.7 million and will be confiscated if not claimed. And then he said he would provide details for us to uh, start getting the uh, money. When you saw that $1.7 million? Yeah. I saw an Escalade in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was hoping the email was true. At first, Ted was hopeful, too. It does. It looks very real. You've gotten in contact with him. Yes. He has never given us a phone number. We've only made contact through email. Through email, the Berries filled out this investment certificate and then received a deposit slip. The scammers must have figured they had them hooked. You are required to forward below documents to facilitate the release of $1,750,857 to you as the legal beneficiary. The promise of big money is the hook. Nobody is ever going to give you millions of dollars to pay a few thousand dollars up front for it. It's never going to happen. It's not realistic. Scams offer the false promise of a pot of gold. However, you end up losing a lot of money or your personal information to these con artists. Fortunately, the berries didn't take the bait. Don't you take the bait either. Don Dare, W-A-T-E, six on your side.